The pilot tax reform program began in 2012 and will expand next month as value-added tax goes nationwide. Vice Finance Minister Shi Yaobin says the expansion has two purposes. The full-scale value-added tax means double expansion. One refers to all the business sectors, including real estate, construction, finance and services. The other means the VAT for real estate would become deductible. So the expansion completes the whole chain of the value-added tax. Deductibles directly determine how much income would be taxed, and the inclusion of real estate sector would bring tangible benefits for businesses. That would also influence many people as home buyers. The State Administration of Taxation says the tax levied on home buyers would be lowered. Take a 1 million yuan home, for instance. We used to apply a 5% sales tax for the whole price, which is 50,000 yuan. Now we collect value-added taxes. The taxable base would be the total price less the tax you paid. So the base becomes smaller and home buyers' costs become lower. The move is the last step in the four-year-long value-added tax reform progress, but it is significant. The four sectors ready to join the program cover 80 percent of the companies that pay the value-added tax, ranging from huge home developers to mom-and-pop shops on the street. The move also erases double taxation. Over 11 million companies are going to gain from this value-added tax starting next month, with an estimated 500 billion yuan of tax deduction this year. Small business in the service sector is the largest beneficiary. Of course, this would help China's economic restructure. What is more, the VAT is the single largest source of China's tax revenue, and an improvement in this area is another step forward for the China's taxation reform. Ming Tian, CCTV, Beijing.